Hello, my name is Meredith Angel and I am an ECW Certified Implementation Specialist at Revell. In today's video, I'm going to take you through the televisit setup inside of ECW. Televisit is the audio video capability in order to have appointments online with your patients. It is HIPAA compliant and it all exists within your ECW system. In order to activate televisits, you want to go to admin and product activation. Televisits is available in both the E and EXE platform of eClinical Works. However, in the EXE platform, it is required that you also download a Hilo agent. In order to activate televisit, you find it under the product activation screen and click activate. My product has already been activated, but as soon as you click activate, you will receive a pop-up um, with the pricing structure. Now, ECW has capped the pricing per month during this COVID-19 pandemic. After you activate televisits, you'll want to activate the providers that are, will be participating. And in order to activate them, you simply need to click register. And again, if you are working on that EXE platform, you need to download the Hilo TV agent. And you will have to do this on each computer or workstation that a provider will be seeing televisit appointments in the EXE platform. Since I am in the E version, I do not have to download that agent. After activating televisit, you will need to create a new visit type under admin, admin, user admin, visit type codes, and you can cl click add. I've already created one called televisits, and the reason you need to create a new visit type is because of this checkbox now that is available called Hilo Televisit, and that is what makes the appointment have audio and video capabilities. After saving, the next step is to ensure that your patients receive the alert that they have a televisit appointment. And these alerts are emailed as appointment reminders are emailed under the patient portal settings. In the patient portal settings, if you go to email message settings, you have two new options for televisits, an email reminder and email confirmation. We recommend activating both. And both come with a template automatically updated in your system upon activation of televisits, and I will show you the template that the patient receives in a moment. The other item is a consent form, because in order to have a televisit appointment with your patient, they need to consent. ECW has a consent form available, however, after you activate televisits, you will need to put in the case with ECW in order to have the consent form uploaded into your system. Now, the consent form um, that ECW activates is only the capability to insert your own consent because consent varies by state. This is a very generic one that I have updated in my system. However, you will want to check per your state guidelines as to what needs to be in the informed consent for telemedicine services. Putting a patient on the schedule for a televisit is the same as you would for an office visit. You double click into the appointment. Add your patient. And the biggest item here is you need to select that new televisit visit type in order for the patient to go on the televisit schedule for the provider. As you can see, my patient here is a televisit appointment. And with the televisit activation, you also have a new jelly bean in the upper right called TV. And this jelly bean acts 
very similar to the office visit screen, except for it is only your office visit for televisit appointments. From the patient's perspective, they receive an email indicating that they have an upcoming televisit appointment. From this email, they can join the telemed appointment directly. They can also go from their patient portal if they happen to be logged in and join televisit here. Or if they are on their phone, on the Hilo application, they will see an appointment and they will be able to join that televisit appointment from their phone. I'm going to click the join the telemed appointment directly from the email. And the vital screen populates. Now a patient can input their respective data if they have it available. They can put in some, not all. Or they can leave everything blank. After they've completed this step, they click Submit Vitals. Their computer or device will then check on their audio video capabilities, as you can see mine is doing now. And once the computer has checked everything, it's now checking my bandwidth connection you can see the patient will be able to proceed. When I click proceed, then my, tel my televisit consent form pops up and the patient can accept. After they click accept, they will then be able to proceed and start their televisit. And, and my sound turned off, but when they join this televisit, join they'll get the kind of, oh, sorry, there's an echo there, but there's a little doorbell that rings for the patient as they're waiting for the provider to join. Now back up from the provider's viewpoint, you can see that the televisit jelly bean has turned red, an indicator for the provider that that patient is waiting for them to also join the video. Now I've joined the video on my other computer as the test patient, so we are viewing from the provider's perspective. You can see that the progress note is the same progress note as you would have for an office visit appointment. We recommend building a template. We called ours Telehealth Universal. In order to ensure that all documentation necessary for a televisit appointment is on the progress note. So we add the cons consult um, with the patient the consent over audio video platform because during this COVID-19 outbreak it is possible that offices may be using other video platforms and so we build in options here um, like FaceTime, Skype and those alternative options. The individuals, the patient location and the provider location, the items that need to be documented as well as the start and end time as some of the codes require that time to be entered. So you can see I have a start television upper right corner, which I clicked. So the picture that you see here is me as the provider, or I'm sorry, is me as the patient. And the small picture in the lower left is the provider viewpoint. The provider has a few options here. They can pause their video, they can mute themselves, they can take a snapshot or a capture of the screen if the patient is saying that they need um, to show them a rash or for bump that they would like taken care of. They can put their camera, so if the provider has multiple cameras on their computer, a front and a back one, they can switch that 
or they can end the call. And you can see I have a warning here because I have poor connection um, and those will pop up as well. In televisits, you have options to add questionnaires, just as you would in patient portal visits. The vitals that the patient had entered up here under the vitals tab. You can chat with the patient. Perhaps their audio is cutting in and out, so you can send them a message. As well as if the patient has activated any tracking devices, such as like a Fitbit or an Apple Watch that is connected through the portal, that information would come through as well. A few more options here. If the provider wants to pin their video so that they can see their right chart panel of the progress note, they can dock it. And then they could bring over that template that I discussed, perhaps look at their existing labs or order sets. And they can pop it back out when needed. Provider and patient have ended their televisit appointment. The provider can simply click end call. The patient receives a warning that the provider has left and they can miss it as well. Completing the progress note with the patient is the same as an office visit appointment. You wanna go through and document thoroughly, add the visit codes and lock this note. Thank you for watching this video on televisits inside of eClinical Works. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you and have a great day.